Not at the same time. What? Not at the same time. Oh. I don't understand. Sorry, I was falling asleep. Mm. <clears throat> Well, personally, I hadn't uh, ever really done the voices for a cartoon before, so... I'm a scientist who's living in isolation in the town of Hill Valley. In the post-apocalyptic future, there is only one guy who controls all the water. And I'm, like, his top general. I play a door. A door? An 800-foot tall green door that's floating in the void. So my character is uh, an orphan from New York City and he's abandoned after all the other kitties get taken from the box. I'm kind of a recluse. The only person I really interact with is this kid in the town. He's kind of like a sidekick to me, Marty McFly. My boss, he has his harem of women, like slave girls. And my character, as a woman, uh, I have objections to that. There is nothing in the void except for a little boy. It's really rough out on the New York streets for an abandoned kitty, and uh, he meets a dog, unlikely friend, played by Billy Joel. I mean, he knows the streets better than a kitty would, so. I've stolen a large amount of plutonium from, you know, the Libyan. I use this to fuel my time machine that I've actually built in the back of a DeLorean. And I guess what I'm so excited about is just that at the heart of this action movie it is my character, a woman. And as a white male playing a woman, I get to give that to women. When people look at the door, they feel happy. But also sad. And that's hard to do as an actress. Do you know why I do movies? Because I've had a life full of people telling me you can't do it. And I am grateful to the director that cast me in this part because he saw my potential to play a door. And for every person out there that has told me that I can't do it, I did it. I did it. <laughs>